Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Forts with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to Europe for the next set of missions. We have Burning Down the House, A Bridge Too Far, and That Sinking Feeling. So, let's go straight into Burning Down the House, because who doesn't love a little bit of arson in the morning? We have Destroy Enemy Fort, Don't Get Hit, and Hit a Mortar, because of course, they are now using mortars, which will set flame to everything they hit. I'm assuming that's the natural mortar upgrade, which is going to be fairly interesting. Use doors to protect weapons. Open them when you wish to fire. Thank you. I will probably forget that like I forgot about the whole slanted armor in the previous video. I promised fireworks. Behold, the dragon rains fire. Now, imagine me doing that in the really high-pitched voice from the first episode, and it sounds hilarious in my head. But don't worry, I won't force you to listen to that. Those in wood houses shouldn't throw flaming stones. Hashtag, got wood. The enemy has reinforced the fort with armor. However, there is a weak spot made of bracing here, which is vulnerable to fire. Build a workshop here. Build a mortar here. Use your machine guns to defend your fort from being set on fire by mortars. For the Eagle Empire! Okay, so let's get started straight away. Build ourselves a lovely, lovely little workshop and... Let's extend this very awkwardly, which will soon be yet another machine gun placement. Thank you! actually hitting the target there. Okay, so it's build a mortar. Oh, we need the workshop to even build the mortar. Okay. Come on, keep on firing, lads. You can do it. I kind of believe in you. Sort of. I don't really, but don't tell them that. It's bad for morale. I mean, that should be enough, right? To protect from three mortars. Surely. Just in case it's not, let's build the most terrible looking bridge of all time. By bridge, I mean tower. Actually, making it bend backwards isn't a terrible idea, so we get a better angle. So actually, building like this might not be the worst idea ever. Once again, accidental genius. No, I didn't mean to do that. Middle section, like so. Thank you. There we are. There's the mortar of flames. And one more machine gun. So now we have five machine guns defending us. I think we will be fine in terms of not being hit. So all we need to do now is hit one of the mortars. So destroy one of these before destroying the base itself. There we are, one more machine gun. Can I upgrade them to miniguns? Don't really see the purpose in that, but I just was kind of curious, honestly. Let's just reinforce this a little bit. Oh, that extra weight. Once again, though, I do actually want it to lean backwards a little bit. Oh, yeah. I am going to be so good at this. Just a test fire. Where does this land? Also, that got way, way too uncomfortably close. Also, that shot I fired, I have no idea where it actually went. Fire! Okay. Now, I don't want to hit the weak spot. If we hit that weak spot, it instantly dies. So we need to be so careful as to only slowly creep the shots! Stay! That was actually perfect, though. That was perfect. We just need to wait until the mortar opens. Oh, no, we actually hit the mortar with that. Okay. Then now, a little bit further forwards, and this should be the death blow. Or it will hit the top. Wow, such a, such a subtle change makes such a huge difference. I cannot say my S's this morning. Recording in the morning for once. It's really weird, by the way. There we go. It's on fire. Let us watch it die. Kaboom. Lovely, lovely flames for one and all. Destroy the enemy fort. Don't get hit. And hit a mortar. All achieved by the Lathrixian Legion. Or the Eagle Empire, I suppose. You got your butt kicked, Dragon Boy. Tell us all you know about the rumored motherload, and we'll take. And we'll take our boot off your throat. I read that as boat, and I was really confused. Just one more day in the life of a dyslexic. 
Ah, I can barely hear you over that ringing in my ears. Okay, okay. Transmitting data now. Next. So much oil. Soon we will have little badges of every single one. Ooh. Okay. My lord, that is a lot of oil. Oh, it's a little secret place, look. Locate and secure the mother load. Okay, I will finish Europe first, then I will do the mother load. A bridge too far. Destroy enemy fort. Don't attach to floating islands. Don't do something. I am fine with that. And snipe all machine guns. Our new warheads need a sniper to paint the target. Build a bridge to re-establish connection to a stranded sniper. Ah, and I'm assuming that the floating islands are going to be the ones with the snipers, so we're kind of handicapping ourselves to get the second oil uh, drip, the oil section, the oil medal, the oil. We're getting oil. Let's just go into the fight. You'll need more than a mortar to defeat me with all these machine guns. How about a couple of warheads? Hashtag overcompensating. Three machine guns defend this fort. Our heavy mortar will not be enough in this mission. So, we've built a couple of warhead silos, but we need a sniper to fire them. Build a bridge to the first outcrop, and then to the second, and then to the third. Okay, so we don't need to go to the islands for that. Ropes can be attached. Oh. So, we can't use the ropes then. Here's a tip. Use the mortar to draw the fire from the enemy machine guns. Oh, and then take them out with the sniper. That's a very smart thing to do. Thank you for that. For the Eagle Empire. Yeah, don't attach to floating islands. We can't use ropes. I mean, we can, but we can't attach them to the islands. That's going to be actually quite difficult, though. Let's just do this rather than getting the whole thing out. There we go. Oi, oi, oi. This is not going to be stable in the slightest. Let's just build really weirdly like... No, not like that. Destroy what I just did. Clearly that was wrong. The idea I had was maybe building out like this a little bit. And then this will be somewhat stable. So we can use this as a rope. But now looking at it, that's not going to work at all. Just a really, really thin bridge. I can't see how else I'm going to get this far. Without everything breaking down. No, 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 not that, that. Oh wait, that's background bracing. Well, it does the same thing in this particular instance. It's just clearly wrong. Uh, yes, there we go. And then brace that as well. Oh my lord, we need to do the next one as well. Are they actually shooting at us at all? No, so we, we're not really on a timer on this one, which is good. Then we do the same for this one, we just build out and upwards a little bit, so we have a strong section here. Try to build with as many triangles as possible, because, you know, building and stuff. That's good enough for me, and once again, we build this, like this. I wonder if you could actually attach just using the ropes, I doubt that counts. If it did, that would be really overpowered, so I'm, I'm not even going to try that. So the achievement is to snipe all machine guns, not just one. Okay. Ah, darn it, that bit that built too fast. Build rope. Then wait. Wait until that's finished this time. Build and rope. Oh, how am I going to do this? I guess extend this and then build a rope from here as well. Because this won't break. There we go. That is the most sketchy looking bridge I have ever seen. I wouldn't even call it a bridge, to be perfectly honest. Okay, I think that should be enough now. Just quickly, there we go. 
Sniper online. Okay, so to make things... Oh, I was hoping I could maybe put the mortar there. Because otherwise, how am I going to do this? I can't use both of these at the same time. So just fire. Then ready the sniper. Open the door. Okay, open the door first. In fact, I'm going to remove the door. Because the enemy isn't even attacking me. So remove the door so that's ready at all times. Fire again. Far higher than that. Okay. So clearly what we need to do is this. Figure out the sniper's aim. There we go. Before we fire the mortar. Because it turns out these lovely aiming reticules will actually stay there. Even after you swap weapons. I didn't realise this. So here we are. Aim this one again. There we go. First one down. And then just repeat that over and over again until all three of the machine guns are dead. Close. A little bit lower. The problem is, though... There we go. We need to do this before we kill the heart. Which means... A little bit lower. Which means we can't allow any of the mortars to actually hit the target. So now, to make sure we don't actually hit the enemy, let's see if we can massively overshoot it. So there we go, that shouldn't really hit the target. And there we go, the next machine gun is down. Now I've got the gist of it. Hopefully the last shot, once again, firing so it misses, and let's prepare the shot, and fire. There we go, all of the machine guns are now down, which means I can just mortar them to hell. Will this hit? Well, it almost hit that house. I was really hoping we could win just using the mortar rather than the warhead, but apparently we do indeed need to use the sniper. So I think this will activate it, and then... Go! And there it goes! That is not a very stable looking flight. Wow, that didn't actually completely take it out. Okay. Do I get another shot? Yes, I do have unlimited shots, which is pretty darn fantastic. I was really thinking that the mortar could at least hit the enemy, but apparently not. So, all that worry about the whole, you know, not hitting the enemy didn't really matter. Let's see if it can get through that tiny little gap there. If it can, we pretty much win. Because that's going to knock out the entire bottom section and all this is going to fall forwards. Close enough and... Oh, you annoying little base. Look at that. So close. I bet you anything you can kill this with just a single shot. But I'm just aiming very badly here. And once... Ahem. <clears throat> And... Did that just fire by itself? Oh, because I pressed the mouse button twice. And there we go. Two more missiles later and the enemy base has crumbled. Destroy the enemy fort, don't attach to the floating islands, and snipe all machine guns. Now, one thing I will say... Actually, I want to test out. I wonder if the machine guns can shoot down the missiles. I'm thinking they probably can't, because normally there is a much easier way to destroy the base. Like with the sniper which had to set off the chain reaction, it could have just shot the heart and instantly won, and things like that. But I don't think I really have the time to actually record a whole testing segment there, so let's continue. Here we go then, our final mission, that sinking feeling. Destroy the enemy fort, win with a spotless reactor, and win without a heavy mortar. The terrain at this site is difficult. We don't have a clear shot, build mortars and upgrade them to cripple their operation. Well, clearly, I'm not allowed to actually upgrade them. I thought we had left trench warfare in the 20th century. Mine's a trench, yours is a grave. That's rather dark, isn't it? The Dragon Army are right on our doorstep. Protect your reactor with these machine guns. Connect to the workshop to build your mortars. And build the upgrade center in order to build the heavy mortars. For the Eagle Empire. Okay, so let's rush over here as soon as possible. I don't care if this is stable or not. Let's just get it nice and connected. There we go. So we can start building mortars as soon as possible. So, let's build one right here. 
Didn't mean it to be angled like that, but can I actually build the mortar still? Yes, I can. Then it's absolutely fine. I don't really care all that much. Now, I do also want more machine guns. I don't trust our machine guns to defend us all that much. I have seen them miss a lot in the past, and so, well, I don't really trust them. There we go, and let's put some rope down from here to here, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Same with you. And one more mortar, because it turns out you can only have three in a group anyway. So let's see if three is enough. I'm hoping that it is. And you can be one more machine gun slot, since I don't really trust you all that much. Okay, one, two. Do they have machine guns ready? Okay, yes, they do. So clearly, that's where we are aiming at, at their machine guns. They just got to their mortars, so soon they will have mortars ready. Just fire, so we can see where that hits. Too far, but not by too much, honestly. Okay, so you three are now ready. Fire about here. And... Just a bit too short, although we did burn down some of their rope. So at least we did something. Fire again. Come on, at least one hit. There we go. We hit their machine gun. One of the machine guns is already down. A fantastic start. So now in the future, they have less defense. Beautiful. Hit their other machine gun. They now have absolutely no defense. Just keep on firing at the same spot. Maybe a little bit further back. Actually, no, a little bit further forward so we can start hitting their reactor. They are building something on the top, which we just shelled. A little bit further back this time. Such tiny differences make such a big impact. Also, this is going to take forever. There we go, their reactor is now on fire. Keep on hitting the same spot, keep it on fire for as long as possible, and we will win this one. Maybe I should just have two groups of three mortars and just swap between the two mortars. But this will eventually win, it'll just take some time. Perfect. Just keep shooting in the same area, and slowly we, we will carve through their base. I swear my mouse moves by itself sometimes. Maybe, maybe I just need a new mouse. But there we go, a direct hit on their reactor, and so it goes up in glorious flames. Destroy the enemy force, win with a spotless reactor, and win without using a heavy mortar. That was a surprisingly easy level, honestly. Oh yeah, there we go. We now have the Europe symbol as well, and I got the achievement... Bowerbird. The rumours are true, there is a giant reservoir of oil up for grabs. That's all we know at this stage. I'm really worried about this, by the way. I'm afraid, though, I am going to have to leave this episode on a bit of a cliffhanger. I didn't really have too much time this morning, and so I thought, oh, I can quickly record a fort, and now my time is up. And so, the mother load will be found in the next video. So far, I am having a load of fun with this, and thank you so much to everyone who's been giving their support to this series. I know it's a bit of a out-of-the-ordinary series for the channel, but it's lovely to see so many likes and so many comments, so thank you all so much. So so with that, if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Forts is a series you wish to see continued in the future. In the next episode, we go for the motherload. Thank you, and goodbye.